national issues, issues that concern Nigeria and also that of the state can be heard on The Periscope. The Periscope on Aliamoye TV and Radio with the host Fisayomi Ajibola. Every weekdays, Mondays to Fridays, at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You won't want to miss it. again the fifth day in the month of june 2023 and uh, welcome uh, to periscope on aliamoye tv and radio uh, fresh episode for uh, the week and of course on periscope this is where we discuss and bring to the front burner uh, burning and topical issues so where we discuss we dissect and we holistically look into and of course uh, issues that affect you know, everyone that affects the citizens, that affect uh, sectors, of course, that is of great uh, value to discuss right here on Periscope. Uh, those are the issues that we look into and, of course, uh, preferring solutions, you know, talking about challenges, advantages, disadvantages of different issues uh, that we have in our dealings and definitely today will not be uh, we know be no difference of course will be uh, another side to the conversation this morning my name is Modukwe Akinyo so you're welcome to Periscope once again on Aliamoye TV and radio this morning uh, we will be discussing or talking about uh, the proposed nationwide strike all right uh, from the um, uh, labor organization or labor body so to say organized labor and of course um, the country you, you see has been thrown into chaos or better still called quagmire following the president uh, Bola Hametinubu's removal of a subsidy during his inaugural speech on May 29 uh, scarcity of the product it's the citizenry nationwide you see every part of the country we now have uh, scarcity queues at healing stations and not just queues we have price hike of uh, the commodity uh, in the country all over the country and uh, marketers are ordering and have hiked the price of fuel but dissatisfied uh, with the president uh for the declaring for declaring the subsidy gone uh, the organized labor including the nigeria labor congress and the tuc decided to embark on nationwide strike which is to commence june 7 uh, that's wednesday as a result of the nigerian national petroleum corporation limited nmpcl's release of a petrol pump price uh, template pegging pump price of petrol at between 488 naira and 557 naira Palita, which has also inflated the prices of the other products and commodities. I was I actually bought the tax yesterday, and um, while we were on our way, uh, the cab, you know, uh, stopped due to, uh, you know, uh, fuel. And actually, the driver was just lamenting that he just bought a four thousand naira worth of, you know, fuel into the car, and he has not even, uh, you know, gone round to. You know uh, get back his money so to say or i didn't he has not gone on any trip you know to to you know to take people and drop to get back the amount of money and he was lamenting that he has never experienced that kind of situation before of course he is not the only one that is experiencing that we have a whole lot and uh, of people with you know cars not even car alone with um, generators businesses that need 
you know, electricity or power supply to run their business on a daily basis. And with the, you couple with the issue of power supply in the country. And of course, the country and a lot of people, citizens have actually been, you know, uh, complaining about the new um, petrol pump price templates that was released by the NMPCL, you know, ranging from 488 Naira and 557 Naira, um, which varies uh, the, the state. Now, a, a meeting was held last Wednesday, you know, to discuss the contentious issue of withdrawal of fuel subsidy by the federal government, which was attended by representatives of both NLC and Trade Union Congress, TUC, but it ended in a deadlock. And uh, they had a reconvened meeting yesterday, and at the reconvened meeting yesterday between the federal government and the representatives of the organized labor at the State House, uh, uh, State House Abuja, representative of NLC, that's the Nigeria Labour Congress, was absent. They didn't turn up, but the TUC presented its demands to government uh, with the minimum wage review topping the list. Now, there are actually even reports, there were reports uh, that the planned industrial action scheduled for Wednesday by the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has experienced a setback as the union appears divided with the southwest and northern state chapters pulling out of the proposed action but the nigeria labor congress noc has debunked reports uh, re recently uh, that its members were divided over the decision of the congress to embark on a nationwide strike on wednesday over the removal of fuel subsidy by the federal government and actually you know with while players from different quarters have kicked against the strike, talking about uh, uh, giving excuses that it will definitely affect, affect uh, the national uh, security of the country or affect a whole lot of things if the National Congress or the Labour Congress embark on strike, nationwide strike, will definitely affect a whole lot of things in the country. And other sectors have actually decided to join in the protest of the pump rise. Initially, the uh, request of the Labour Congress was the reverse of the pump rise to return to status quo uh, while negotiations will be ongoing. And at this time, because the first meeting ended uh, deadlocked, and the Labour Congress is insisting that before any negotiations would uh, continue, the federal government should reverse and uh, should return to status quo the price of, uh, of, of fuel. And, you know, different questions and different um, reactions as being matters arising on the uh, fuel subsidy. And even the NLC, uh, according to the president of NLC, Joe Ijaro, while, while speaking in an interview on the television channel yesterday, he accused the federal government of foul play he accused the federal government of this insincerity and insensitivity on the subsidy matter, uh, insisting that the federal government lied in its you know, declaration that there was no appropriation for subsidy beyond May 2023. And a whole lot of questions has actually been raised. We, what exactly is the issue on the fuel subsidy? Uh, because the last administration had um, exempted uh, subsidy in the budget that's from june 2023 but according to nlc president of the nlc saying that the federal government is now ecc and insensitive uh, insensitive uh, and uh, uh declaring that there was no appropriation for subsidy beyond may 2023 and of course the effect of the subsidy removal since the declaration uh from the speech uh at the inauguration on may 29th by the president muhammad bukhari on the subsidy remo removal a whole lot of issues actually been raised and the nationwide strike is scheduled to begin wednesday what exactly is the way forward while some quarters have uh, you know uh, uh, are in support of the proposed nationwide strike some are saying uh, it shouldn't be that negotiations should you know be, be going on to prevent the nationwide strike should the federal government, or at this point, what should the federal government do? Even according to uh, the former Senate uh, 
the former Senate leader, uh, Senator Ali Undume, APC a member of Borono South, he, he asked the president himself, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, to personally lead negotiations with the Nigerian Labour Congress, you know, following its threats to call workers out on strike on Wednesday over the removal of fuel subsidy by the federal government. What exactly should the federal government, or how should the negotiation uh, 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 be, or at what point should there be compromise, so to say, concerning the uh, fallout of the subsidy removal and should the federal government take back or reverse the pump price of fuel or should they be looking at measures to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal the nlc has insisted that the federal government should reverse and return to status quo um the the price the price template of pump uh, of fuel while some are of the opinion that federal government should be looking at uh, measures to cushion the effect a whole lot of things are being discussed over the subsidy removal because there has been a whole lot of fallout you know and of course uh, these have been affecting an, uh, the average citizen of the country while citizens are lamenting on the fallout marketers are ordering and have hiked of course the nnpc brought out the template uh, of pump price between 488 to 550 57 so all marketers are to just walk in line you know with the uh, price template of which ogo state even ogo state uh, the pump price uh, at the moment is 500 naira per liter and you know motorists you know fuel consumers are to buy a liter of petrol uh, for 500 naira a lot of questions being raised of course we would like to hear your take on this because this is affecting you know everyone because it, most especially private business owners where they have to you know run their business on uh, the absence of uh, power supply and definitely they will run their business on fuel they have to get either diesel or uh, petrol to keep running the business and a whole lot of you know issues business owners have been lamenting concerning this issue of course we would like to hear your view you can drop your comments right there uh, what do you think should be the way forward or how do you think the federal government uh, should tackle or get hold of this issue at this moment should the federal government reverse the uh, uh the the, the, the pump price to the former price or the federal government should be looking into how or measures to cushion the effect of subsidy removal. And of course, we will not talk less or we will not exempt um, our refineries as well, production of fuel and a whole lot of issues that surround you know, um, this, this, this subsidy removal. All right, we'll, we'll quickly go on the short break and get to see uh, we can connect with our guest this morning to discuss this issue of the proposed nationwide strike by the Nigeria Labour Congress or National Labour Congress NLC and of course the issues all issues that surround uh, this what the federal government should do what should be the next step in because the NLC has insisted uh, that the nationwide uh, nationwide strike will commence on Wednesday what should be done uh, to tackle or to cushion this effect of strike. We'll be back to Periscope on Aliamuye TV and radio. Stay with us. Lafe to buy to fair wash for you, should get to Pagam, no cojalosi, House of Ziana. House of Ziana, the name I know, well with fashion, quality materials, and class. House of Ziana, let him a rojulo will talk you. 
tickets. Each day, Dubai, I want designer bags. No, she wish I want it to let batter. So, do not want for what? Regina, she want. Go kajo, ton kawaka ti yojo, design perfumes. Kwe lua won go bon kan, ba fè lok ba. Ha ha, mo debe, oto me kami, e mini o ra, e mini o mu. E mo sulu miye lesin, se e gboge, bon pa fashion, se e wani lo jalabia, ijab, ati abaya lorishi rishi. House of Zayana, leo tiri go bwe ra. House of Zayana, uwa ne? 52. Ola an usho go ro, lori Instagram, House of Zayana, 65618. House of Zayana, ile itajata ati ati nto julo uwa sho, ati nko a shara lo geti nbe ni ni yi. Thousands have been disappointed severally in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. This quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau South Travels and Talk. We have in-depth details on how to successfully with our threat. Help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent visiting and tourism visa? Places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa. It's Tau South Travels and Talk. Experience and expertise. Speaks to them first. Let's process and secure for you to so UK, USA, and I. We offer urgent Umrah services to our Muslim faithful. South Central Mall, Sholanka Street, behind Laroy Hotel, 02 Zero six zero. Stop wasting money. Pay off travel and
All right, still Periscope on Alia Muye TV and Radio. Thank you so much uh, for joining. Of course, we are uh, raising matters arising on uh, the fuel subsidy, of which uh, reaction to uh, the fuel removal, subsidy removal, a declaration by the new president, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, which is uh, the proposed nationwide strike uh, by the NLC. Uh, of course, uh, the NLC has decided to embark on nationwide strike, uh, uh, the Nigeria Labour Congress, uh, June 7, which is Wednesday, and a whole lot of issues have been raised concerning uh, the strike, proposed strike, so to say, uh, while different sectors have, uh, have, been, have been in support, uh, while other sectors have been uh, kicking against uh, the proposed nationwide strike, which is, uh, according to them, going to... Uh, result to a whole lot of uh, troubles for the country at uh, the moment that it is way too early uh, for the country to be experiencing uh, this uh, uh, issue or, or lacunas in uh, different sectors in the country. And of course, uh, a whole lot of issues being raised concerning the uh, nationwide strike proposed by the Nigeria Labour Congress. And of course, yesterday, uh, the Nigeria Labour Congress uh, shunned a scheduled meeting uh, with government officials over the removal of subsidy and subsequent over 200 percent hike in the pump price of petrol until fuel prices return to status quo and of course while we are trying to get through to our guest this morning to uh, make him share his view concerning the action or the proposed action of the nigeria labor congress nlc uh, concerning the fuel subsidy uh, you can uh, drop your comments, your view on the issues at hand. What, sh what, what is your take? Should the federal government focus on uh, re reversing the price of uh, premium motor spirit uh, to status quo? Or the federal government should be concerned about um, you know, looking at measures you know, to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal? Uh, so to say, or what is your take? What's your reaction concerning uh, the, 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 the actions or reaction uh, from the Nigeria Labour Congress? And following, uh, of course, President Bola uh, Metinubu's removal of uh, the subsidy during his inaugural speech on May 29, uh, there have been scarcity of the product, you know, uh, it's, which has hit citizenry nationwide as the marketers you know, other than hike the price of fuel. Uh, the meeting, which was scheduled to continue yesterday, but uh, the leaders of the NLC are told uh, uh, one of the newspapers, re correspondent, uh, I'm quoting him now, officials of government have been calling us and we have been bluntly, uh, we have bluntly told them that we will no longer hold any meeting with them until the pump price of petrol is returned to pre-May 29 price, that uh, before the inauguration. And in other words, the pump price of petrol has to return to status quo to give room for negotiations and the way forward. Now, the NLC is insisting that uh, the federal, before negotiations can even continue, the federal government should go back to status quo of the pump price to reverse the pump price and withdraw the templates that the NPCL had uh, uh, published or brought out last week. And, uh, however, leaders of the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, yesterday uh, met with government officials, but the meeting was inconclusive as both parties resolved to continue talks on the issue uh, tomorrow. And they also demanded a pay rise and, uh, to cushion the effect of uh, the subsidy removal. So according to representatives of the TUC, Trade Union, uh, Trade Union uh, Congress of Nigeria yesterday at the inconclusive meeting they had with the federal government, uh, they, uh, they uh, presented their demands, which of course, uh, minimum wage is one of uh, the issues that were raised and, and they also demanded a pay rise uh, to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal. While uh, the uh, Labour Congress is saying federal government should go back to start status quo before negotiation can even uh, continue and of course uh, meanwhile ahead of the plan nationwide indefinite strike from Wednesday the NLC has directed its state councils and affiliates to ensure full mobilization of workers and civil society allies among others towards a total strike should the federal government refuse to reverse 
the pump price of pet uh, petrol to pre-May 29 prices uh, by tomorrow, that's Tuesday. And in a letter uh, titled, and I'll be quoting, a notice on mobilization for nationwide withdrawal of service by the General Secretary, Emma Ugwaja, the NLC wrote, we, we bring you greetings from the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress. You will recall that arising from uh, the National Executive Council meeting held on 2nd June 2023, it was decided that Congress will embark on a nationwide action and withdrawal of services against the fraudulent increase in the price of fuel across the 36th state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the FCT. Uh, please be informed that the nationwide action will commence on Wednesday, June 7, 2023. Uh, to this effect, uh, we request that all state chairpersons should mobilize workers for the action and ensure full compliance with the directives. Uh, services in both the public and private sectors are expected to be fully withdrawn by Wednesday, June 7, 2023. And further stating, all state chairpersons are expected to fully abide by the decisions of uh, the National Executive Council. And recall that the NLC had on Friday in a communique at the end of an emergency National Executive Council, uh, that's the NEC meeting, consider the huge suffering uh, pervading the nation, the outrage expressed by the majority, and the increased attendant fears uh, of the consequences of the PMS price I unanimously condemned uh, the actions of the federal government and reached the following conclusion that it was unlawful for the federal government to have announced the withdrawal of subsidy on PMS. And uh, the 2023 Appropriation Act made provision for funding subsidy regime on PMS till the end of June 2023. That is uh, the point the NLC has been raising that this fuel subsidy removal was scheduled to end end of June 2023, and we're already having fallout of the social remo removal, uh, your reaction from the social remo removal in May, and even before the end of May. I'm uh, still quoting uh, the NLC, it is unfair for the government to knowingly take action that will inflict pains on the populace and workers without putting adequate safeguards in place. Discussions were already on an understanding reached with the government on the conditions uh, precedent before the withdrawal of subsidy on PMS. The local refineries, especially the publicly uh, owned four, have remained comatose as a result of the government's inability to get them uh, operationally turned around. We cannot accept any petroleum uh, product price increase until products are refined locally. The federal government decision was unilateral and therefore runs counter to the spirit of national consensus and social dialogue. And the NEC in session also noted that there is subsisting judgment of the court that voided the powers of uh, the Nigerian state to deregulate and fix prices of petroleum products in the country. Now, between 1999, uh, 1993 and 2023, about $6 billion was used for turn around maintenance, that's the TAM, of the refineries without any result and which uh, different quarters have actually been, you know, given reports over the amount of money that has been uh, set aside or disbursed to maintain and uh, make the refineries, uh, more of refineries work. But as a result, at this time, 2023, uh, it's still not functional. $7 billion was given to 14 banks owned uh, by the elite from the public treasury to keep them afloat between 2016 and now. 26 trillion naira uh, was given to the rich as import waivers. The NMPC is still unable to tell us how it arrived at the pricing template and the names of the beneficiaries of the subsidy funds. At the NEC in section subsequently resolved to demand the immediate withdrawal of the uh, vexatious NMPC or price adjustment and revert to the oil price in keeping with the 2023 Appropriation Act to immediately commence effective mobilization of all workers, um, all workers and citizens in conjunction with the civil society for a robust and inconclusive uh, engagement to resist the imposition of higher prices of PMS on Nigerians. And the uh, next session hereby uh, forms a seven-day automaton beginning uh, from uh, Wednesday, uh, that was last week, the last day in the month of May, May 31, 2023, uh, to the federal government to revert to the old price to allow dialogue to proceed. On the expiration of the ultimate with, uh, without full compliance by the federal government, Congress 
uh, shall embark on an interfering nationwide withdrawal of services and mass protests uh, starting from Wednesday, June 7, 2023. To this end, all affiliates and state councils of the NLC are directed to immediately commence full mobilization of members to ensure the success uh, of this action nationwide. And according to the NLC president, that the new fuel prices uh, is illegal, or the new fuel price is illegal. And the president of NLC, Comrade Joe Ajaro, said, and I'll quote him, he said, the Congress decided that if by Wednesday the NPCL, which illegally announced the price regime in the oil sector, refuses to reverse itself for negotiations to continue, the NLC and all its affiliates will withdraw their services and commence protests nationwide until this com uh, yeah, this complied with. Of course, uh, what is your take? What is your reaction to the uh, insistence of the NLC uh, Labour Congress saying that the federal government should reverse uh, the pump price at this time and not uh, wait till June while negotiations will be ongoing on how to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal and of, of which this has been has uh, give, uh, made an impact on uh, even citizen the least citizen of the country where citizens are lamenting the prices of petrol lamenting uh, the not just petrol alone the prices of commodities you know uh, we have inflation on foods inflation on even health anything you want to do at this point is uh, it, 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 there's price high the prices have skyrocketed and you know citizens are lamenting of course the labor uh, labor congress is fighting for the common man talking about the fallout of uh, the fuel subsidy or the fear subsidy removal in the country and a lot of analysts in some quarters also have been arguing about steps or provisions that should be made that should be made available uh, before the subsidy removal that there are some steps there are some provisions that should be uh, 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 you know seen or attended to before the subsidy removal what should be the, the 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 step that should be taken by the federal government to cushion this effect at this point is it not too even too early that uh, uh, the country is facing or is going to face uh, withdrawal of services from our, our labor, uh, labor congress is it too early at the beginning of an administration? What is your take on this? A lot of questions being raised right here. While we are trying, still trying to reach, uh, uh, get through to our guests this morning, you can still drop your comment on matters arising on the petrol or fuel uh, subsidy removal, the fallout, the reaction uh, since the inauguration on May 29. Uh, 2023 by the president Bola Hamed Tinubu that uh, subsidy is gone and of course uh, immediately after the declaration you know uh, the oil marketers the products so to say have been you know scarce and a uh, few days few days later the NMPCL brought out the another template a price template for premium motor spirit to be sold between 488 naira and 557 naira and of course the nlc uh, labor congress is insisting that the federal government reverse the price to pre-may 29 price uh, before negotiations can even be reached or can be established to discuss further how to further uh, uh, how to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal further all right, uh, you can drop your reactions and your comment uh, on this video. What's your reaction? What's your take on the on matters arising? The, 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 because May twenty, uh, May uh, June seven rather, uh, which is the date for the commencement of the NLC strike, is on Wednesday. That's two days time, and the NLC is assisting that the the, the 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 strike will definitely hold if the federal government has refused to reverse the pump price uh, and still going through uh, okay uh, like i earlier mentioned uh, the former uh, senate leader uh, um, uh, had made a statement uh, senator ali udume uh, said from borno south as 
personally asked the president, you know, to personally lead the negotiation uh, with the Nigeria Labour Congress, you know, following the threat by the NLC, the Nigeria Labour Congress, that the president himself personally should, you know, uh, take this issue as a burning issue and front the negotiation. And even the president of NLC uh, accusing the federal government of foul play. Do you see foul play? Do you see uh, insensitivity on the part of the federal government? Uh, and because there are arguments that uh, some at the inauguration, or uh, after the, the speech, uh, during the inauguration, that if uh, the, the, the president did not specifically mention or w was not specific on uh, the subsidy removal, though the past administration had removed, had removed the provision of subsidy uh, at the end of June 2023 in the 2023 budget. But some, in some quarters, they argue that the president was not explicit enough at the inaugural speech, while some uh, are of the opinion that the subsidy has already been removed by the past administration. And of course, the, uh, the, 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 the speech was just a, a, a uh, re-emphasizing re on the removal of the subsidy at the end of June 2023. What is your take? Is, do you think the federal government is, being, is not being sensitive is being insensitive to the subsidy matter, and do you see insincerity and foul play, uh, you know, by the federal government in the issue of subsidy removal? And of course, uh, the the NLC also insisted that the federal government lied in its declaration that there was no appropriation for subsidy beyond May 2023. Do you also agree to this issue? And back to uh, the NLC's. Uh, statement the NLPC NLPCO doesn't have the monopoly to act illegally even as a private company the NLC NEC therefore uh, direct that's the NLC uh, National Executive Council uh, direct all state councils and all industrial unions to commence mobilization uh, from this moment to make sure that this action is enforced and the action has commenced immediately and the NLC is calling for a thorough probe in the process of subsidy to know those involved and the amount involved, investigate it properly before it is swept under the carpet, uh, the current attempt to sweep uh, the fraudulent practices in the subsidy regime should not be tolerated by uh, all well-meaning Nigerians, and of which a uh, majority of Nigerians actually agree to the fact that um, subsidy should be removed. But... Some were argue, uh, uh, are arguing that the process of the removal and the provision that should be made before the removal is the issue that should be discussed, the negotiations that should be ongoing, so that um, the removal would not have adverse effect on the citizen of the country. And checks by um, a newspaper that's Vanguard uh, during the weekend showed that many labor organizations have been mobilizing in line with the NLC directive to embark on a protest on Wednesday, and the NLC confirmed that it has mobilized 48 affiliate unions, uh, the Mieti Allah Peace Initiative, and all its uh, 36 state councils, including Abuja, to embark on nationwide withdrawal of services if the government and others fail to reverse the new pump price of fuel. And of course, uh, the electricity workers uh, under the aegis of the National Union of Electricity Employees, the NUEE, uh, said yesterday they would join the NLC in its planned strike over the removal of petrol subsidy. And while some have opposed, especially the electricity workers, not to join the NLC or not to uh, 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 be in support of the nationwide strike because it's going to cause n uh, national uh, insecurity or security issues in the country uh, because even presently national bl blackout looms and also uh, still talking about a uh, statement credited to the National Labor Congress. Uh, Nigeria Labor Congress, the NUEE, in a notice by Dominic, uh, Dominic, acting general secretary, urged the citizens, uh, urged the members to comply with the directive and stop work from the early hours of Wednesday. Would that be um, a, 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 an advising or encouraging step to take at this time? And the memo reads, and I quote the memo now, secret to the Nigeria Labor Congress. Emergency National Executive Council NEC meeting held on June 2, 2023, 
at the Labour House Abuja over the sudden removal of fuel subsidy, which has brought untold hardship to Nigerians as well as increased inflation in the economy. The NLC has directed that the nationwide withdrawal of services action will commence on Wednesday, June 7, 2023. And to this effect, all national, state, and uh, chapter executives are requested to start mobilization of our members in total compliance with this directive. And please note that withdrawal of services nationwide commences from uh, the early hours of Wednesday, June 7, uh, 2023. And at the TUC's meeting with officials of the federal government uh, yesterday, it was inconclusive, uh, but TUC President Festus Osifo said uh, some progress has be, had been made, according to the president of TUC. He said each party had made proposal, adding that while representatives of government would take theirs to the government, TUC would take it on to Congress for harmonization and approval, and then meet again tomorrow. And Osiva said the federal government also promised to reconstitute a minimum wage review committee, which is, according to TUC, part of the measures to cushion the effect of the Saturday removal. A briefing the state house corresponded, the leader of the government delegation, uh, Dele Alake, said uh, that the meeting went smoothly with some demands made from both parties. And on the other demands beyond the minimum wage, he said, and I quote, it is a list, but we are not going to be listing all of them now. The most important is the minimum wage, uh, which is an increase in the minimum wage, uh, because when this thing is removed, that's the subsidy, the argument of labor is that there is an immediate impact on the workers uh, on the purchasing power because the price of fuel has gone up. And also the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, has rejected the sudden uh, removal of fuel subsidy and directed its members to also join the nationwide uh, strike being planned by the NLC from Wednesday if the NLPCL failed uh, to reverse the hike in pump price of petrol has been demanded by NLC. And in a statement by its uh, National Secretary, Shuaib Usman, uh, the NUJ said that at an emergency central working committee uh, meeting on Saturday, June 3, 2023, it discussed issues surrounding the federal government decision you know, to remove fuel subsidy and the position taken by the NLC. And the statement also uh, reads, after a presentation by the national president, uh, Chris Is Isiguzo, and the national treasurer, Bamidele, on the position taken by NLC on the matter, members unanimously adopted the position of the NLC on the issue. And the CWC reiterates uh, the argument that although the removal of fuel subsidy with free allocations, which can be channeled to the provisions of infrastructure and creation of additional jobs, the sudden removal could, however, lead to social unrest and protest as people may perceive government as being insensitive to their plight. And the CEWC also notes that already there is an astronomical increase in the prices of petroleum products and high inflation, uh, which uh, have drastically reduced the purchasing power of citizens. And also uh, uh, furthering saying that accordingly, the CWC directs all states, councils of the union to mobilize members to withdraw their services and to commence protests nationwide from Wednesday next week. Uh, Wednesday this with us this week. Uh, 7th June 2023, if the Nigerian National Petroleum Company uh, Limited, NAPCA refuses to reverse the new price regime in the oil sector. Uh, and meanwhile, the NAPC uh, Limited has concluded plans to stop its crude oil swap contract uh, with traders as it plans to pay cash for uh, petrol import. Uh, as a state-owned co uh, corporation, the NAPCA Limited used to allocate or provide crude oil to importers instead of paying money in the past uh, but NMPCO limited group chief executive that's uh, Millie Carey uh, uh, during the weekend or at the weekend disclosed that the new measure is in line with the current de uh, deregulation policy of the present administration and the withdrawal of uh, the fuel subsidy which the NMPC limited was di uh, directly bearing the burden for the federal government and expected importation by other parties especially uh, the major and independent oil marketers the NMPC Limited is expected to be in the best position to pay its importance. And in another interview uh, with uh, the Vanguard, the national president of Ipman, uh, Elder Chinedu Okorunku, noted that the downstream sector of the petroleum industry needs strategic actions to stimulate growth. And he also disclosed that the interest of independent marketers to import 
and called on the government to address the high cost of funds, stressing that it affects the total cost of operation in the sector. And it, 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 all of that, because of our time, uh, who would have just gone through different reactions uh, by uh, different reactions by sectors, different sectors on the proposed nationwide strike by the Nigerian Labour Congress. Of course, this conversation will continue as uh, you can drop your comments, you can drop your reactions uh, concerning the proposed uh, strike, which sh is scheduled to commence June 7, 2023. Apologies uh, for our guests not being able to you know, show up uh, this morning due to some issues, health issues, actually. And of course, um, we'll do this again. Uh, tomorrow, Periscope on Aliamoye TV and Radio. Thank you so much. You can continue this conversation. We'll definitely continue. Uh, drop your comments and view on this, uh, under the video uh, on Facebook. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Talking about matters arising, of course, we will be, uh, you know, following reports, you know, on the negotiations by the federal government and the national nigeria labor congress and of course the tuc as well giving you updates and discussions on the proposed nationwide strike which is scheduled to commence uh, june 7 2023 thank you so much um, once again for joining this morning uh, this conversation will continue tomorrow periscope on aliyama tv and radio i remember good morning <music>